with all elephant births, this was a months long process. The gestation of the elephants is between 20 and 24 months. So we had a huge range that we had to prepare for, but we knew there were so many components that needed to fall into place. And the entire team all had their own jobs from the vet staff to the vet techs, to the vet residents, uh, to every one of the keeper staff. So we had to prepare. So we thought the best way to do that was we had a giant inflatable elephant that, that was Molly, the mother. And then we had to simulate the baby, a slippery little newborn baby. We had a giant boat buoy. So we prepared probably started about four months before December. December was when we thought she was gonna give birth. So we started that process months in advance, about once a week. As it got closer, we probably was twice a week that we would do a drill to make sure that the elephants um, and the elephant team were all comfortable with the machinery that was in there. The elephants had to be comfortable with all those people doing all those things, and it just became part of the daily routine for them, and there was no big deal at all. So by the time that, that we were really getting close, we had a meeting on the, the 14th with the vet staff and all the elephant staff trying to prepare for the next few days. No one expected it. We were checking in throughout the night. She was laying down, which is not typical for one that's just ready to give birth. She jumped up around, oh, it was probably around five o'clock or a little before five in the morning, made a few vocalizations, moved around a little like she was uncomfortable and started labor. So immediately the phone tree was enacted and everybody was called in and everybody got here as quickly as they could. And some of us actually missed the birth because she had it so quickly. So by 5.30 that morning, uh, the calf was on the ground, had been checked and was doing really, really well. So the staff was ecstatic. I mean, some of the people are new on the elephant team, so they had never experienced an elephant calf being born. Of course, they were extra excited. Uh, Molly, the mom, was so calm, because this is her third calf, so uh, she was exceptionally calm. The entire herd was really calm, but all got to watch what was happening. Um, the staff, I have to say, were exemplary in, in how they performed what they needed to get done, uh, and everything came together as if uh, we'd been choreographing this for years. Within a 24-hour period, he was trying to climb up on the bars, which his older brother, uh, Batu, that was about four months into his exploratory phase. And then he started to notice the other elephants in the barn. He started to notice the bars and the floor and hay and the water and all those really cool things. And he is so far advanced this little guy is is way above the the bar on, on what his, his activity level is which is making it so interesting for the staff to interact and watch that development and we're just excited about what he's going to be like in another six months though so because of the construction project that we're doing which we're very very excited about this is going to be one of the largest elephant exhibits in the country it's going to be uh, six acres or a little more than six acres so we're expanding their their habitat uh, it's got lots of new elements with a walk through tunnel that people will be able to be above the elephants as they're walking from one area to the other uh, we, we of course have the incredible pool that we put in a couple of years ago um, beautiful yard grazing for all the elephants that's what we're looking forward to having a big reveal uh, to the public in the spring when they the whole herd can experience this the date for now is late may that we're going to be opening that so we're all planning for that to be a really awesome event